Hi everyone, in this episode I will show you how to use your TI graphing calculator to verify a trigonometric identity. Along the way I'll also show you the nuances of entering certain trig expressions into your calculator. Let's get started with our example. To which expression is tan theta plus cotangent theta equivalent? A, 2 divided by sine squared theta, or B, 1 divided by cosine theta times sine theta. To determine our solution, we'll start by entering tan theta plus cotangent theta in our calculator. Let's press the y equals button, and then we will start by typing in tan x plus... Now with cotangent theta, you have two options. You can type that in as 1 divided by tan theta, because cotangent is, after all, the reciprocal of tan theta. You can also type it in as cosine theta divided by sine theta, and this is actually probably the more precise option. You can check out one of my other videos to find out exactly why. So I'm going to go with the definition of cotangent theta as cosine theta divided by sine theta. I'll press alpha y equals and select option 1 so that I can get the fraction template. Then I'll type in cosine x divided by sine x. Now that I have this trig function entered, I'm ready now to graph it. But before I do that, because it's a trig function, I'm just going to go into Zoom and select option 7, which is a standard trig window. You should know that the standard trig window isn't always suitable for all trig functions, but in our case, it looks very good. Next, we'll return to the y equals editor, and in y2, we will enter the function y equals 2 divided by sine squared theta. Okay, now some of the TI models do not actually have the fraction template. So I'll show you what you can do in this case if you don't have that, and it's very easy. You can just start typing 2 divided by sine squared theta. Now with sine squared theta, we're going to type it in as sine x. We're going to close off the parenthesis to the argument and then press squared. Okay, and that's all you have to do. Now I'll press graph, and if A is in fact our answer, I should see the red graph tracing directly on top of the blue graph. And that is not the case. Therefore, I know that tan theta plus cotangent theta is not equivalent to 2 divided by sine squared theta. That must mean B is our answer, but let's just verify to be sure. We'll return to our y equals editor, and in y3, I will enter 1 divided by cosine theta times sine theta. Now, before I press graph a third time, I'm just going to go up to y2 and put my cursor on top of the equal sign and press enter. That will deselect that particular function so that I'll be able to see whether the black graph graphs on top of the blue graph. And we've got the blue graph, and it looks like the black graph is graphing right on top of it. Therefore, we can conclude that tan theta plus cotangent theta is equivalent to b, 1 divided by cos theta times sine theta. And that's how you verify a trig identity on your TI graphing calculator. 